All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another video. This one is uh, we're dealing with axis parameters. Um, this is Eric with the VBA How To dot com, and this video is in regards to an email that I was rece that I re received. Uh, it actually has to do with access report parameters, and so. Anyway, uh, I put a, a little sample database out there called the Access Report Parameters, and you can download the file and the code at vvahowto.com. Okay, uh, the email reads, as you can see on the screen, um, Dear Sir, can you give me a sample database or Access VBA code where report can filter by... Uh, interrupt date and select a single customer date range okay for example like John John buy how many things from 113 to whatever that is uh, I think it's 130 because I'm sure I don't think he's from America so uh, he had a backwards it was, the, the date was different and where John is my customer I just want VBA code for the command button I will choose the name for the command combo box blah, 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 blah. okay well here this one is in response to that uh, so in response to the video <clears throat> I, I just took a uh, the customers table the order details the orders products from the Northwind database, okay, um, I formulated this here query, QRY orders. Again, you can get this at vphowto.com. Uh, this is called order. This is called the um, FRM order selection. And here are my here's my report. It basically is blank. It just asks me for parameters. That's one of the and then no data if uh, there's no data. Uh, one of the nice things about Axis is uh, it's so quick to generate reports, um, and it's all all in there. So really, I didn't need a whole lot of VBA for this. I could have used a lot of VBA, but I didn't. I chose not to. Basically, um, I'm querying these tables right here to see how many orders I got. So I have this drop down list. I'm selecting from here. Let's let's select Roland Wacker. Okay. Uh, from date. From date. Here these come out of again, this comes out of my my customers table. These come out of the orders table because I want to see what the order what they ordered. So from 122, I want to see their see their order history. From this date to this date. Okay, what have they ordered? Uh, just gotta get an idea. Maybe I'm in sales and I want to get an idea of where where I'm coming from when I call the call on Roland Wacker. Okay, get report. Bang. And here uh, up comes a report. And I want to close out of this. And here a uh, Roland Wacker uh, order date. He ordered in these days. He ordered this. Uh, the quantity, the unit price, and fifty-nine dollars. Okay, again, this comes out of the North Wind, so it's not a high-dollar, uh, high-dollar items here. So, but it does give you an idea of what's going on. So, and you could do the same thing with your data. Okay, now if I want to choose somebody else, let me select Christina Lee, and let's see if she did anything for four. Three to six seven, and if she did or not, I don't know. Okay, well she did. Uh, Christina Lee, like she ordered a four twenty two, four twenty five during that period of time, and she spent one hundred twenty six bucks. So, uh, good candidate, good candidate to call on. Well, what if she didn't order that time? Then we get a boxing no data. Okay, that's real important there. If your report doesn't return anything, rather than just have an error pop up, there's a little property, and that's with prior version of Axis as well. 
uh, for the no data on no data. So show a box here that says no data. Show a box here that says no data. Now in the background, in the VB code, uh, I open up the report and there is no data. I'm showing a no data box. And then I'm canceling the open event of the report. Okay. Cancel out the whole thing. And here is my code, VBA code. Again, real, real simple stuff. It's not, uh, there's not a whole lot of coding here. I'm just opening up a report. And then, so I don't get an error message saying your report was, we tried, but you couldn't, we couldn't do it. I'm just having this on error resume next. Okay. Anyway, uh, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, you can go ahead and play with it if you want. Uh, go on out to vbahowto.com and you can get the database. Um, and again, I uh, hope you'll find something else there that's, that's useful to you. Comment below. I'll put the link below to where the database is at, where you can download it. Uh, make sure that you comment, uh, rate, subscribe to the video, whatever uh, makes you happy, and uh, I sure would appreciate it. All right, great. Thanks for watching and for your time, and uh, bye.